Yahoo! Welcome back to Big Game Figure Collector and as always, I am your Pinot Autoclu in Japan but not in Tokyo, Hagi Potato and for today, we will be checking out this beautiful ladies right here made by Papa Parade from the game Persona 5. Now, I have been waiting for a budget-friendly figure of these two ladies right here. Now, the only one I'm missing right now is Anne Takamaki and we're gonna be all set for our Persona 5 figures so as we can see here they are actually from persona 5 the animation rather than persona 5 the game or persona 5 royale so we're gonna open this up but let's take a sweet look at how pop up parade is packaging their toys as you have noticed from my previous videos right there that Amaterasu is also a pop-up parade so these are my recent my recent uh, recent pulls I got this were supposed to come uh, last Friday but sadly uh, there was a problem with the tracker I was uh, I was really excited to be able to show you guys this particular sets of figures on the release day so let's open this up as we can see here there's only a tape here uh, I really do not get why they are using uh, just plain scotch tapes rather than the official seals or something that would make it really more formal since oh by the way these are priced at around 3,900 yen I got this for around 3,200 yen from Ami Ami pre-ordered this months ago as soon as I got as soon as I saw them they were gonna be released which by the way we will be tackling on another video some of the recent news that um, Good Smile Company has been uh, announced has or rather has announced in the previous days and there's a lot to talk about and I'm really excited to delve into those particular particular toys that they have announced really really cool just look at the back at the background of that one mm-hmm so delish okay there's no sketch tape here clamshell really looks nice I really want to be really careful with, the, with this clamshell because oh there's a scotch tape on the top so there's gonna be probably another one on the bottom so let's open that up now we are now the name of Oracle in, in the Japanese Persona Persona 5 is actually Nabi which is a lot more fitting than her uh than her own home oh, sorry sorry nabi mm, look at that portrait dude nice figure really do hope there's not a lot of seam lines and the base even though it's plain let's look at the color of that one really fits her it really fits the figure now there's something written here there you go, Atlus Sega Persona 5 the Animation Project made in China. Now, okay, so the head is detachable. Okay, let's check out the body first. So, there doesn't seem to be any seam lines here. I like that this is not this is not of the solid color that this is transparent really nice touch nice detailing here look at the knees really really nice figure I have there's no noticeable seam line anywhere really nice now as for the head nice nice sculpt nice touch with the eyeglasses hmm. her visor seems to be somewhat lacking in detail but the hair does not have any and most of the figures that we have seen so far have a large large seam line on the hair but this one does not so really really worth 
the worth the price especially i would really advise you guys to get the figure of navi and queen right now before the prices go up but hopefully i'm really happy with what pop-up parade has been doing uh, and they are getting more and more licenses with our favorite gaming figures and with the recent announcements i think they will just go really really far from here and they seem to be the the next best thing if you are a static figure collector for their pricing they are the best as of the as of late when it comes to retail because the only thing that i believe they are up against are the ufo catcher figures which are uh well not necessarily cheaper if you are in the states in the uk and or rather in a country besides japan they really are expensive than the resellers but if you are here so same same deal with a uh, navi plain red plain uh transparent red same thing underneath okay time to check out queen makoto nijima there we go actually let's check if the head comes up it does not come up i am not sure i don't want to force it queen is my favorite persona 5 character mm portrait first really really nice just look at that awesome details do the sculpt no seam lines i'm so used to having seam lines on a figure because i buy a lot of ufo catcher prices nice really really nice really loving what i have seen so far let's get into more details let's check out queen first just look at that pose really really loving this figure geeking out right now so much mm -hmm. pop shop up next time for our size comparison let's check out with Ichiban Kuji Joker as you could see it uh, Ichiban Kuji is really towering over our pop-up parade so the scale does not really look good if you're gonna put it with the Ichiban Kuji so um, if you're gonna if you want a Joker that would fit in with uh, with Futaba and Nijima you might need to go with the pop-up parade which they also release a Joker figure for okay next up we have this joker figure as you can see it is now pop up parade is the one towering of course it is towering over and i mean it was a small figure but here's what it looks like if you want to display it with your joker amiibo here's what it looks like next to an sifex gwendolyn figure from Auden spear time to compare it to some gumpla here's an entry grade granddaddy gandam and here is a master grade goop. So, as you can see here, uh, the closest scale that uh, we could compare it to is uh, with a master grade, master grade gun plug. Time for our pullback shot out of the shop, and that's how they look like. Backing some more, backing some more, and even though they are not that big of a scale i think judging by their pose and judging by their look they still do catch your eye okay so to wrap up this review i would be grading this two figures five out of five for the price that we paid for it compared to the other uh available uh, other available options that is out there mainly 
Figma, which are uh, you will be paying around three times to five times the amount of what you will be paying for this particular beauties. And if you're not the type of uh, person that would be posing and would just like to display them on the shelf or wherever, you are really getting what you paid for with this. Especially since they look exactly like what we what you would see on the uh, on the pictures from their web page. So if you are uh, still thinking about of thinking about whether you want to grab this particular figure or not. I guarantee you that you are gonna get your money's worth out of this particular set of figures. And that is it from me. Hope to see you guys on the next video. Hit like, hit that subscribe button if you haven't yet. See you on the next video. This geek is out of here.